all right what is going on welcome to the channel all right special video for you all here today it's may 1st i just got an fsd update this is going to be my first impressions on 12.3.6 all right so this is going to be my real first drive with it here so we're going to test it out getting me out of the shopping center a couple of light situations here i'm going to test it out in real time Hopefully it prevails with no takeovers. I'm looking to be impressed in this video. So here we go. And uh, just looking to make a right. And now we need to make a left at this light. So FSD did a nice job creeping, getting me exactly where I needed to go. Really good job about that. All right, so we're looking to make a left. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about this update. This update included auto park um, for ultrasonic sensor cars so what does that mean exactly that means that it's emulating tesla vision which is available on hardware 4 cars to basically work exactly like it does on hardware 4 cars now on hardware 3 cars i know that sounds confusing but just look at it like it's the same thing we're running tesla vision finally how that happened i don't know I mean, it's just amazing how quick the technology is able to improve. Um, and that's something that I find myself saying a lot since I've owned this car and since I've been a Tesla owner and sit, sat behind the wheel of a Tesla, it, the car just constantly gets better. The upgrades come, it, they, they, see, they notice what people are talking about online the issues people have um for example the cyber truck just came out and as soon as it dropped people were um testing the frunk and seeing that um you know potentially people's fingers can get cut off so i saw um the out of spec studios to shout out to them awesome channel uh they did a bunch of tests with fruits and vegetables and they saw that it was chopping the the cucumbers and whatnot and carrots and it's pretty unbelievable because if you thought you know they did hot dogs and whatnot and they were just trying to you know mimic a finger if someone's finger were to get caught in the cyber truck frunk you know it could potentially take their finger out you know no one really said anything about this you know for the first month or two and then tesla all of a sudden um they just released an update for the cyber truck that addressed that so now they displayed a video showing that with a banana and it's funny that they use that but yeah it didn't cut the banana it's you know a banana soft so it was able to detect the fact that that's a banana and the front wouldn't close so they see the feedback they see what kind of you know things people are saying and based on that you know they provide updates and they do it in a pretty quick fashion and if there's something that's not safe that's like their number one priority they address that first thing you know and it's amazing to see that i, I read online too that they're going to start making regulation for all cars being required to be able to stop on demand like if someone were to run in front of it or something like that just like you saw how it did at this red light that's gonna be a requirement for cars being sold by 2029, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and that means that every car being built is gonna have a camera in there. So if, you know, it's, it's just common sense. It's just an extra layer of security. It's, it's human lives at stake here. And there's, that's the reason they're gonna do it. And uh, for people that see the whole invasion of teslas right now and feel like that oh you know i'm never gonna get behind this whole electric thing and if this is just like a whole front to try to get people away from gas cars or whatnot i mean i look at it as a true value perspective granted what you're given um and then the safety that comes behind it plus right now in 2024 ever since i got the car and you know it's been economically cheaper to run you know price of electricity in 2024 is way cheaper than gas so that's like you know obviously and then 
once you get into the whole autonomy thing, that's another chapter that, you know, people need to explore that doesn't have to be, you know, right with electric cars. It just happened to be Tesla introduced both things and they did a great job at it. And they're the ones that took it far. Um, but, you know, if, if Mercedes introduced autonomous driving on their gas cars back in the day and it did so well like it does with FSD, maybe it would have been associated with them. You know, and it wouldn't have been so locked in that, hey, the electric car and the whole autonomous craze happening at the same time wouldn't have been the case if Mercedes or BMW solved it years ago. So here we are today. It's like get hip or get stuck in the past. But being stuck in the past also means an unsafer drive, perhaps depending on, you know, the capabilities and the driver, of course, and, you know, if it stops and things like that. So let me know your thoughts. Wow, did we just run a red light? Oh my gosh, FSD just ran a red light and I'm gonna run tape on why it just, that was such an interesting decision. The car next to me also ran the, the red light, so I'm not sure if it like went off of that but what a decision that it made right there. Now, that almost takes away everything that I just talked about because I, what if I just got a ticket right there? I couldn't have been like, oh, my car just ran the light. That wasn't me. The cop's gonna be like, no, you're in the driver's seat. Whatever happens in this car is your responsibility, no matter what the car does. So your ticket is on you, not the car. So. With that being said, autonomy comes with a huge asterisk right now. You know, it's like, it's not perfect, not yet. It's really, really good, but it's not perfect. And, you know, anything is possible, so always be prepared. And what I've learned is two drives are never the same. If you, if you had a perfect zero intervention drive one day to the mall, from your house to the mall and you want to do it again that doesn't mean it's going to be the exact same drive the next time it's all depending on what's going on at the time of day who's on the road what direction the weather who's driving around you you know there's so many variables road closures accidents this and that look how as soon as the light turned green fsd goes and it wastes no time and um, that's another one great thing too like the, the, the light was actually kind of difficult to see from where I was sitting at that angle sometimes like the sun is hitting it and um, it's hard to see sometimes so having that traffic light control is another benefit too um, but that's not all the time there's lots of other reasons for having that um, but again just going back to my argument with once we add cameras in the car it becomes safer and a lot of things come along with that. The ability to see in front of you and stop or see the color of the light. You know, and it's just, it's amazing how Tesla adopted this around safety and it's its improving itself based on that. And its it's become so popular because of that. If it was like, hey, we're gonna set out to make a autonomous car that's like, like a, F1 NASCAR style drives crazy Tesla would not be as popular as they are today it's actually like appealing to elder folks or someone who may have trouble driving or just doesn't have the confidence or you know is just not a good driver it's actually more appealing to those people because it's gonna do textbook driving for you so if you have issues with that shoot I mean now it parks for you too so anyone who and i don't want to name names but you know we know some people in our lives that just don't know how to park and um not not that they don't know how to park sometimes they just have issues with parallel parking um so the car phenomenally parallel parks for you and reverse parks for you and yeah fsd is getting great Nice job with this um, drive. I did have some feedback with the red light and stuff, but 
overall pretty smooth let me know what you think hit that like button if you did enjoy this video drop a comment below thanks again for watching hope you have a great rest of your day